my channel five to keto my friends call me jelly i've used a ketogenic journey to lose 211 pounds but i've been um not the best girl when my boyfriend was here for seven weeks on and off keto net carbs due to keto clean keto back and forth all over the place then i was doing really well then burned myself over a week ago with the grill so if you haven't seen any of that <clears throat> i had a lot of ibuprofen ibuprofen shots made my weight go sky high again but today is a new day a new week it has officially been 11 days since i burned myself looking so a miracle it's bothering me at night when i sleep it's waking me up stinging i'm one and itching like crazy so i'm wondering if i scratch it in my sleep or something um but they told me don't put a glove on because my hands hand sweat i don't know if y'all have that problem but if when i wear any kind of gloves my hands sweat which would not be good to keep it wet all night long i was told so way better and yes, I got on the scale today to record my weight because even though I'm going to take each day at a time for the next week, if I decide to do low calorie, if I decide to do uh, this, that, whatever I decide each day is how my day is going to go. I am not planning this week at all. I'm giving my body another week to heal. So if my body tells me, like, starts craving more protein, I will eat more protein. But we all know me. I'm going to give my body as much protein as it wants every single day. I do a high protein keto. Now, I did notice yesterday. Um, well, I will show you my yesterday's macros and my weigh-in. And then we'll have a little chit-chat. And my steps for yesterday was 6,568. That's a lot more than I've done in a whole entire week because of my boo-boo. So I'm happy with this number. I got eight hours of sleep last night. I feel more rested than I have in a very long time. Macros for Sunday. I had 118 protein, which it was more, 35 uh, fat grams, that is perfect number for me. A total of 10 carbs and 3 net carbs. A total of 808 calories. I said it was going to be a low day all the way around, and it was. Okay, so 169.2. Before the accident, I was 168 point something. So technically, I only went up 1 pound because my weight was already up. For no reason so this is the starting weight of trying to get it down again okay so you saw my macros for yesterday very low in everything especially fat um i didn't wake up hungry i wasn't hungry at night i mean i woke up with a lot of energy for the first time in a while um so far i'm not sleepy it's almost two o'clock i've had one collagen coffee i didn't wake up until 12 though um but better part is I'm feeling more myself even though my fat was very low what 35 yesterday uh, my calories were extremely low yesterday uh, my carbs were you know what hold on okay I was just making sure my numbers were correct because I changed some of my food out yesterday um, like I didn't do um, I'm just making sure I didn't put butter in anything like that in the keto child in the app because I tend to do that a lot. So my carbs were about 10 yesterday. Um, so it was a low day for everything. Everything. I've been watching a lot of YouTubers, some new people, um, catching up on everyone's channel. Um, Loving it on keto has made me want to go to TJ Maxx. My TJ Maxx barely ever has skinny syrups, but I haven't been in a while and checked, and now I want to go see. There's so much cheaper at places like that, Marshall, Ross's, um, Home Goods store, versus ordering them online where they're $8 a piece, and in those stores, they're $3.99 a piece. Um, so I've been kind of debating on doing that because I do use the skinny syrups for shaved ice. Even though that's a challenge I'm going to give myself next week, to not do shave ice that is going to be a hard challenge and that starts next week to go at least three or four days with no shave ice that means no skinny syrups and uh see if my weight falls off better because i use a lot of skinny syrups on my eyes 
Uh, I don't show y'all the ice, but I tell y'all that I eat a bowl of ice every night and, you know, I use skinny syrups. I use, before I introduced myself to the skinny syrups, after I, before I realized they didn't hurt my blood sugar, I used to just use Leconte fruits, um, little vanilla, uh, liquid drops. I would put that in my ice. Uh, and then, and then I found the skinny syrups. And another brand, Declare, De, I don't know, some other brand that Walmart sells. <sighs> Not Walmart. Well, Walmart sells it. Everywhere sells it, but I get mine from Sam's. But, uh, um, I need to see what happens without it. And I didn't realize how addicted I am to them. Like, I enjoy them. Because last night I was hungry and I chose a bowl of ice over getting off my butt and going to make more food. I could have go made me something else, got me some ham and cheese to eat, but my lazy butt wanted the ice instead. It also helps me to not eat keto ice creams or keto sweets or, or even the Quest peanut butter cups. Um, it helps me stay away from all that stuff. But I'm wondering, since I started the syrups and I did a lot when Dina was here, too. I'm wondering if um, that's what made my weight go up or that's why I can't go down as fast as I normally can. I'm not putting that pressure on me this week at all. And yes, I can have the skinny syrups in my house and not use them. Um, I just torture myself. I go put them in the keto closet and I put boxes in front of the keto closet and I just don't get into them. I do it with my peanut butter cups, my perfect keto cookies, like it's full of stuff. Um, not as much as it used to be because my mom's been eating most of it now, but it still has stuff in there and I can resist it. I just got to tell my brain, but I have no willpower this week to resist it. And I want to, I'm still healing. I'm still whiny. I'm still going to eat the skinnies are up but way less. I've already told myself we're cutting down the amount of tablespoons I put in each ice. Um, all week long, every day I'm going to cut it down more and more. And most days I have three ices. So the first goal is to go down to two ices, then one, and then only a little syrup, and then two none. <laughs> Not going to lie. It is my treat addiction i'm thirsty i can't just drink water when i just drink water a lot of time it gives me heartburn i do try my best especially when i have my core waters um i don't get as much heartburn um but it's really hard for me to drink water but i can eat the ice very slowly shaved ice but eating it with no flavor is not as good either so I, i'm trying i'm trying don't yell at me we all have a little get us through. So I was watching 80 Keto, which I haven't watched in a long time. Um, I used to watch him and Sarah religiously every Sunday. And then when they stopped doing their thing, I stopped watching the channel. It just became more like interviews and that I missed the way it originally was, but I tuned in, um, to him and John on, they did an experiment with different keto, um, cereals and even not keto food like gummy bears and or sour patch kids and bananas and peanut butter and and honey and and this oat stuff and coconut and they were doing experiments to see what their blood sugars would do quest bars like you name it so they talk about it in this video and the one thing i like what john says don't put yourself in a box um because he he you know he works out he lifts weights he does bodybuilding, but he can get away with peanut butter and banana before his workout and stuff. And his sugar doesn't even move. Like, I think it was like six or 15 points. Like it's really low, but then he goes and eats these bars or other keto products and his blood sugar goes higher or they're about the same. Also, he did the whole TikTok natural cereal thing going on right now, which is berries and a real coconut and, and stuff like that. And it raised his sugar to like 150 something. Um, so his thing is he's leaning towards, he'd rather eat the banana and peanut butter that barely raised his sugar at all because it's natural 
than going to pay a fortune for some of these keto products that has a lot of weird words in it, a lot of things we normally would never eat, and having the same thing. He'd rather eat his peanut butter and banana. And guess what? He's still in ketosis. I, I wish my body was like that. But the whole point is don't put yourself in a box. Don't listen to keto, please. If you can eat the peanut butter and bananas or the carrots like I can and stay in ketosis and lose your weight and feel great and save tons of money, then why would you go buy these keto bars and keto cereals and, and you know, why... Why do that? Because a lot of them does have a lot of weird chemicals um, than just eating something natural. I agree with him. I completely agree with him. 100% there. Um, also, I'm trying to remember what all they said. There was so much there. Um, my mind was going somewhere with it just then and it went out. I've had so many ibuprofen that it's hard to focus. That's why I cannot wait to get totally back into ketosis, like a high ketosis or at least moderate, so I can focus more and not get lost in my own conversation. But um, yeah, why, why would you go do that? They are also talking about, oh, there goes my AC, hold on. I had to turn that off. Now I remember what I was going to say. They were talking about the, if I'm, pronounce it right the tapioca whatever fiber the fiber that my stomach doesn't like to always deal with seems to raise a lot of people's blood sugar it raised both of theirs um, your body breaks it down too fast according to some of the science that is out there on it and it spikes your blood sugar levels so and there's a lot of keto stuff like that, okay? There are syrups that have it in there. There's ice creams and you name it. So far, I haven't noticed a big problem with me um, in certain products. Other products might have way too much and that's why I can't do it with my stomach. Um, but basically, it's a try and see. If you're gonna do a keto product, it's a try and see. You need to know how it makes you feel. Does it bloat your stomach? Um, is it raising your blood sugar? Um, are you losing weight? Are you gaining weight? Just because it says keto on it doesn't mean it'll work for you. Just because people say it's not keto doesn't mean it won't work for you. Because I've been told a billion times carrots is not keto. Okay. Okay. But guess what? As long as I measure them out, and I can still stay under 20 total carbs with my carrots, I'm fine. I've lost tons of weight eating carrots. What doesn't work for me is when I eat cauliflower. I go up in weight every single time, even measuring it out to only 73 grams. That's a tiny amount. And the problem is, my stomach doesn't like it, so it causes inflammation when I eat it. I love cabbage, but my stomach doesn't like it, so I can't eat it. I'm hoping one day I'll be able to. Um, but if something causes you stomach issues, there is a huge chance you will go up in weight from the inflammation that it causes in your stomach, your gut. If your stomach's swelling after eating something, that's not normal. It's not. We all think it's normal. We think it's normal that after we eat something, our tummies make us look pregnant. We swell out. We have trouble breathing. We don't feel good. No, it's not normal. It's something not mixing in our stomach. I've watched tons of doctors lately on TikTok, tons of um, gut doctors and everyone explaining that uh, it's not normal. It shouldn't be happening. And if it is happening, you shouldn't be eating those products because there's something in there affecting you. Um, and I, I believe that because why should food make us feel sick? Why should we feel horrible after eating something? I get if you overeat, you're going to feel horrible because your stomach's stretching too much. But why if I eat a little bit of cabbage, why am I on the ground crying and swelling? Okay, just because they say it's healthy for me, just because it tastes good as like fried crack or something. Uh, why, why, why would I eat it anymore? And I haven't. I've tried a few times just to see, and I still have those reactions every time. It's just like 
why would you eat sugar if it keeps spiking your insulin too high? I cut that out. So if a keto vegetable, and I don't like too many of them, that's the sad part. If a keto vegetable is making me sick, why would I eat it? Just because it says it's healthy, just because it tastes good, doesn't mean it actually is healthy for me. So remember all that. I want you to remember when you're choosing your foods, when you're eating something, no one else gets to tell you what you can and can't eat. You and your body is what is telling you what you can and can't eat. I can tell you what is supposedly keto and what will supposedly work for everyone, but it doesn't mean it will. There are tons of people who have to cut out dairy. I have to be low fat to lose any weight anymore. It, I mean low, like 45, 35. I won't lose weight if I get over 60 fat grams. I have noticed. I've tried the fat fast. I've tried all kinds of things like that. And it just doesn't work for me anymore. Maybe because I don't have that much more fat to lose. I don't know. I have to take it from my body. I also don't lose weight if I work out too much because of the cortisol releasing. It raises your blood sugar. It wears out your body. Also, when you lift weights, you naturally hold water. So this week, I'm taking day by day. Haven't eaten anything yet today. Had a collagen coffee. We'll probably have another one soon. I will have my pork loin for dinner. And if I want anything else, I will. Um, I'm, I'm just slowly winging myself off the ice this week. That is my main goal for the week. Winging myself off the ice. <laughs> so that's my week's plan. After that, we will start hardcoring because I'm 11 pounds up from my lowest and I have to get those 11 pounds off. That is the biggest goal is 11 to 12 pounds off before June 17th. I really want 20, but I'll be happy with 11 or 12. But the goal, my aim is 20 pounds. And I think getting rid of the ice is going to help. Now, I could do the ice with the monk fruit. Um, vanilla, you just put a few drops. It goes a very long way. And I was losing weight like crazy doing that because I've done that for over a year. Um, but I'm, I'm really, really thinking it's the skinny syrups. But I am going to go stock up if I can find any because once I hit my goal weight, it'll be maintenance time. Well, my goal weight isn't my goal weight anymore. We will discuss what my real goal weight is later after I actually hit the 148. Um, so after I get to my ending goal weight, <laughs> then I will start adding skinny syrups and all that back in there. Now, if the skinny syrups doesn't seem to make a difference after pulling them out, then my butt will be using them again. It's all about taking something away, giving it a week or two, maybe three, so your body can decide if it's going to work or not. And then if it didn't make a difference, stick it back in. If it made a difference, don't stick it back in until you're in your maintenance mode. And then you have to see, is it going to hurt you during your maintenance mode? Like how much can you have during maintenance? That's going to be a whole new journey for me. So even when I finally get to my weight, ending weight goal, we're going to have like how to maintain keto. And me telling you of all the little tricks and things I've done, to uh, make it this far. And like I said, I'm not done yet. So the scale is up. However, I don't see it as much. Like, okay, this is very unflattering, the stripes. But my jean shorts are getting looser every day. Like, even after washing and drying, they're getting looser, even though the scale keeps getting up. So, I don't know. And my butt's getting bigger, which is a good thing, not a bad thing, because I've been doing a lot, lots of squats and everything to raise it up. So when I say bigger, I mean it's raising the fat up and getting more round like it should be, not a flat, huge, wide, yeah, no. It's finally raising up and curving like it should. So my squats are working. I can't wait to be able to lift weights again. I'm gonna try the Oculus tonight because it really is like amazing today. Like, but I did take ibuprofen yesterday. And I noticed a difference. I woke up being able to move my hands better because um, I took it late in the evening. Um, and it's just not giving me all the trouble. And they told me to stick with the ibuprofen, but me worrying about the scale, stop taking it. 
but yesterday I had no choice. So I am going to shut up now and uh, figure out if I am going out today or not and show you my dinner in a little bit. And if I find skinny herbs, if I go out, I'll show you. Downside of being total garb, 20 under. I keep having to pee. I couldn't even go out and enjoy myself shopping. I went to DJ Maxx, ran in the Barnes and Noble and got my daughter's thing, had to pee both times, and I'm having to go home because I have to pee like every 15, 20 minutes, and it's just not fun, and I don't want to keep visiting dirty bathrooms. <sighs> this is the downside. This is what happens to me every time, which would be great, right, because I'm going to get the water weight off, but even when the water weight gets all off, it, it, it continues to happen. Also, um, I wish I could get a picture of this. Okay, so they had probably 300 different ones. Like, I could not believe how many different ones they had at TJ Maxx. None is my favorite. Um, well, one is. Let me show you what I got. I want cookie dough. They never have cookie dough, so I'm just without it. I don't want to go pay full price. I got two of the dragon fruits. Those are decent. Another unicorn. It has a berry type flavor, but very tarty, very tarty. I love Froray. Um, how do you pronounce it? It's F and Rose for, right, for Rose. Um, it's my favorite, and I happened to find one bottle as I was walking out the door almost. And then this is a new one I've never tried. Um, a lemon raspberry, and I've never tried the mermaid one. So, like I said, I'm just going to wing myself off this week. And I'm not the only one who eats these, so I'm really excited. I have tons. They're a good price at TJ Maxx, $3.99. Um, also bought a container. I wish they had more. They only had one. This is for my keto child to put in there. So, yeah, my little collection. This just happened. I went to the bathroom and was answering comments by talking to my phone from YouTube and forgot that I was filling the sink. Um, 
it was way worse than a minute ago. I should have recorded it when it was even higher. So, yeah. Yeah. Guess we're playing bubbles. Guess we're playing bubbles. <laughs> okay, so here is my dinner. It is the pork loin air fried. I don't know if I'm going to eat this all, but I will by the end of the night probably. It is 5.20. I'm starving. I have one ounce of the Havachi dill. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. And I have 13.4 ounces of the meat. So, let's see how much I can eat in one sitting.